Hey everybody, it's Monday, December 20th. Ooh, man. Now it's really getting close to the big feast of Christmas. On this Monday, and Christmas is on a Saturday, so here we go. And the reading's from Luke, very familiar with Luke, the Annunciation. In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent from God to a town of Galilee called Nazareth to a virgin betrothed to a man named Joseph of the house of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. Coming to her, he said, Hail, full of grace, the Lord is with you. But she was greatly troubled at what was said and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. Then the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary. You have found favor with God. Behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called Son of the Most High. And the Lord God will give him the throne of David his father, and he will rule over the house of Jacob forever. And of his kingdom there will be no end. But Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I have no relations with the man? And the angel said to her in reply, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore the child to be born will be called Holy, the Son of God. Behold, Elizabeth, your relative, has also conceived a son in her old age. And this is the sixth month for her who was called barren, for nothing will be impossible for God. Mary said, Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord, May be done to me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. I imagine we're all familiar with this gospel. It's one of the more f- common Marian gospels, I say. We hear it quite often. And yet, even as I read it, it's still something about it still resonates with me. Just love to hear it. Love to hear it. In fact, when I was a kid, little boy, my dad used to tell us this. I don't know, a joke or something. I don't really call it a joke, but a humorous little story. It's called The Man with a, with a Nail in His Shoe. I knew the story by heart, but I always said to my daddy, Daddy, well, my sisters as well, my brothers, Daddy, tell us a story about the man with a nail in the shoe. We knew the beginning, we knew the middle, we knew how it ended, but it was something about it. Tell us. And my dad, all right, you told us. Let me get a little dramatic. There's a man who had this great pain. Oh, doctor, I'm hurting. And he went to the doctor. Oh, okay. They took out his appendix. Oh, still in pain. Oh, doctor, I'm hurting. And they took out his, let's say, his tonsils. I don't, you know. Oh, terrible. Then he operated on his knees. Still pain. Oh, dragging. He, my dad would be more dramatic than I'm telling it. No, oh, oh, dragging. And then finally, they found out what was wrong. You know what was the matter? No, daddy, what was wrong? He had a nail in his shoe. I know it probably doesn't even sound that much, but the way my daddy said it, my dad told it, and it was just love to hear it. Maybe because my daddy was saying it, or maybe I just enjoyed the story, but I never got tired of it. I don't know if my dad got tired of telling it, but never did. Well, that's how I feel when I hear this gospel of Annunciation. It's just the angel coming to Mary, and nothing's impossible for God. I am the Mary says, I am the handmaid, I'm the, you know, I'm the servant, let it be done to me according to her word. And it's just a beautiful, beautiful. And so I love hearing it. And it just still inspires me and may inspire you too. Whatever phrase, whatever part of it may touch you, but simply this, nothing is impossible for God. Don't you ever forget it. God bless you.